guys, today I'm going to be making a tutorial for Pilot Training Flight Simulator. First, you choose your settings. Go to Options. Um, if you want it to be more realistic, choose all of the settings I have. If you don't, just turn off wind. Instant loading can have it. You, um, it's better to have it to true. And infinite fuel you can have it to true, but I prefer not to. And then you press save graphics. So then, when you press play, you choose Greater Rockford, Orange, or Perth because those are the recommended ones I recommend. I'm just going to choose Perth and click Perth International. For some reason, there's an Airbus A380. Just forget about that. And remember that if you press 1, you have a run tool. Have, um, like the ATC things. You have a parachute and binoculars. So you just walk down the gateway and you, ch and you choose your plane. I'm going to choose an airliner after I click that screen. And then I'm just going to choose. I'm going to choose Boing. I mean... Yes, I'm going to choose Boeing 787. I'm going to choose Qatar Air Qatar Airways and get in the pilot seat. For pushback, you don't really have a pushback tug in this game, so I would just press E, C, and P. Which what this would do is just turn on the engines and when you press C, that would make um, it's so you do have zero steering control so the plane will only go backward something wrong with this plane okay I'm just pushing back it's a pretty big airplane but I prefer to do it in the cockpit you, if you if you want it to be more realistic you can press C and you can steer the plane while you're doing pushback But you also do have to look outside because in real life you have put the pushback tug stop once they get to that yellow line and steer. But um, in this game you don't really have pushback tugs. You only have the power from the engines. I'm just going to start turning around. I'm going to go to 15% power and start accelerating. Keep in mind that the normal taxing speed is 15 knots well the normal taxing speed the maximum is 20 knots which is I'm um, told up here before you take off you want to see your altitude this will tell you at what height you will be once you take off now this this will tell you what height you're gonna be when you land at an airport so you follow these yellow lines to the runway As we're taxiing to the runway, um, you have you have to keep on looking to make sure that there's um, that there's no one on the runway, and then you just right before you go onto the runway, you press H until the flaps get set to full. Don't worry because some planes don't have flaps. I keep on following the, the yellow lines, and we're there so now that we're at the runway you have to slow down the plane even more because this is one of the most important parts it is lining up for the takeoff now that we're lined up I'm gonna go to 0% throttle and it looks like we're ready for takeoff so we we go to toga which is full power or holding W and you stay in line with the runway and take off now that we're taking off you wait until the taxing symbol disappears and you start going up slowly and you get aligned and you raise landing gear 
then you start slowly you start turning to your destination for this video I'm just gonna go to orange okay once you're flying you have to lower your throttle to about 80 or 70 percent I'm gonna go to and you have to set your flaps to zero by pressing Y two times or three times then you just press R it and the plane will start holding altitude but not speed speed it you still you're still controlling so now that we're flying um, I'm gonna land over here at orange orange is pretty easy to land at but if you're going to Perth you have to be careful because the runway is pretty close to where you um, is pretty close to where you're coming in so you have to do a pretty steep turn while going down okay I'm starting to see the runway over down here so now I'm gonna turn on autopilot by pressing R again and start getting aligned with the runway you have to remember that your mouse is where you're going and you can if you press Z you basically have like a more responsive version of the plane but I but for now I'm not gonna use advanced mode this is used like when you're landing at Greater Rockford or at small airports where you have to do pretty fast and steep turns now I have to lower landing gear put throttle at 50 percent sorry that I that I set the thrust to idle and you lower landing gear and you have flap set to full by pressing H until it's set to full and you start going down you should have two red and two white lights down here if there aren't any lights don't worry but if there are um, red lights means that you're too low and white lights more white lights means that you're too high and more red lights means that you're too low so you would normally have to have um, two red and two white, but if you're approaching an airport like St. Bartholomew, you have to be careful because the runway is really small and you don't listen to the, those lights. So you can see two red and two white. That means we're at the perfect. That means we're at the perfect height, and you have to get ready for the touchdown. If you're role playing, you have to make sure that the passengers know we're landing. Because yeah. we're right here, we're landing at the touchdown zone. Touchdown zone is those two really thick white lines, and you press P to start braking. And we've stopped. I'm just gonna keep on going and taxi along the runway. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope to see you next time.